What's up guys, I'm Jesse Toth. Um, I am a fitness professional who loves seeing people fall in love with the process of getting better one day at a time. Um, I've created Fat Loss 101, which is just six tips to help make fat loss sustainable and more tolerable, right? Fat loss is never fun, but in the end, it's usually worth it. So if you're on this journey, follow me through these six tips and let's get after it. Right, guys, tip number one, being in a calorie deficit. This is by far the most important point on this list. If we are not burning more calories than we're taking in on any given day, we're not going to lose weight, right? We're going to see an increase in that scale because that energy that's left over that we didn't burn just gets stored in our bodies and typically is fat. Jesse, how do I know if I'm in a calorie deficit? It's really hard to know unless you're tracking everything. If you are tracking nutrition for months, everything you eat, and you see an increase in that scale, probably need to tone it down, right? Opposite is true. If we've been seeing decreases in that scale and tracking everything we've been eating, you're doing great, you're on the right track. There's a lot of BMR, basal metabolic rate, uh, calculators out there that'll give you how many calories, estimate how many calories you are burning in a given day. Most of them are true. Um, they give you a good guideline, but the best way to do it to figure out what your true calorie deficit is or calorie maintenance is, is to track your nutrition for a couple months and see if there's any increase or decrease or maintenance in that scale. All right, guys, tip number two, high protein. Why is protein so important in our diet? We see protein in every men's and women's fitness journal out there saying you need more and more protein. Okay, there's a reason for that. Protein has so many benefits, especially for fat loss. And the first one is that protein is super satiating, right? That just means it'll keep you full for a longer period of time so that we are resisting constantly having to snack. The second reason why protein is so important is because protein is a high thermic effect of food, meaning that your body needs to spend more calories in order to try and break it down into its usable form compared to fats and carbs. Third reason why protein is so important is because protein compared to fats and carbs is the only macronutrient that can rebuild muscle tissue. And as we'll learn up here, a higher muscle mass or higher, higher muscle tissue leads to an increase in your basal metabolic rate, meaning you're going to burn more calories throughout the day simply because you are stronger. All right, Jesse, I get that protein's important, but how much should I be getting in my diet? It's an excellent question. And um, the, the easiest answer is just to say 0.8 to 1 times your goal body weight. So a goal body weight is 150. All right, you should be getting between 120 grams to 150 grams of protein per day. All right, tip number three, drink more water. Water is great for us, right? We know that this can come in the form of seltzer water. Seltzer water is, is actually excellent because it's got the bubbles in it, which will help you feel fuller. So it'll resist those temptations to snack. Um, but water in general is going to fill your stomach up, decrease those hunger hormones so that we can um, eat less calories throughout the day. All right, guys, tip number four. We kind of went over this when we talked about a high protein diet. But when we have an increase in muscle mass from weight training, and that's really the only way to build muscle is to stress our muscles to the point where they feel like they need to adapt to that stress. Um, we're going to have an increase in basal metabolic rate, meaning that the energy that we expend just sitting throughout the day is going to increase because we have more tissue that the body needs to take care of, essentially. So increase our weight training, increase muscle mass, increase that basal metabolic rate. We're increasing our calorie expenditure throughout the day. All right, guys, tip number five is NEAT. We need to increase our NEAT. Jesse, what the heck is NEAT? NEAT stands for non-exercising activity thermogenesis. These are all the things we do throughout our day that are not part of our overall exercise program. Now, this could be parking farther in the parking lot at the grocery store or at work or taking the stairs instead of the elevator. Simple things throughout our day that we are just increasing our movement. This is burning calories right now, right? It's simple, but... Movement is medicine. Movement's going to burn more energy. If you think about uh, a weight training program, we're probably only doing that for one hour a day. Even if we did that five days a week, that's only five hours out of our entire week. It's not that much. So we can really take advantage of all the other hours in our day by just doing simple movements, right? Get up every 10 minutes at work and just go for a, a two minute walk if you're able to. Um, anything's going to help, but increase that need. All right, guys, tip number six. And last but not least, we have accountability. Don't go at this alone. 
Um, ask a family member, ask a friend, ask a personal trainer, hire someone. If it's really that important to you, hire someone who knows what they're talking about, who has the knowledge, who has the resources and skills to know how to attack fat loss. All right, it's super important. It's really hard. All this stuff is not easy. So having someone there to coach you, to hold you accountable is really important and um, I would say necessary in order to make this happen. Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you sticking with me to the end. If you have any questions regarding any of this stuff, exercise, nutrition, uh, health in general, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as, as soon as I can. But again, thanks for watching. This is my, my first YouTube video, so I'm excited to create more content for you guys so you can uh, crush your goals and make this journey sustainable because health is a, a lifetime of wellness and I want to help you do that. So crush it.